Hey folks, Dan Free here on the Mortgage Update. Happy Halloween. When we come back, I'm going to show you what happened today in the market, but you're going to like it. Look at that number. That's exactly what we wanted. We'll be right back. Hey folks, Dan Freer here, the Mortgage Update. It is Halloween 2019. So let's see what happened today in the market. That's why you're here. We were up 28. As you know, those that follow my channel, that's good. Green is good. This is the price of the mortgage-backed securities market. And the mortgage-backed securities is, as we know, the instrument that controls or dictates the mortgage rates. So again, my name is Dan Freer, the Mortgage Update. You can hear me daily on WYLL Radio in Chicago from 7.30 to 8 o'clock in the evenings, or WIND Radio Saturday mornings from 7 to 8 a.m. Um, I'm a mortgage advisor, have been for 30 years, and I do this every day or every night. I try to post and let you know what's going on in the markets. This is highly uh, sought after information by realtors, uh, mortgage people, mortgage companies, and anybody related to the mortgage industry or financing of homes. So if you like the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Also leave a comment. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know if there's some videos that you want me to discuss because uh, I answer every comment that's posted down below. So what happened today? Well, if you followed yesterday, we had a big run up. Again, this is, this is the price of bonds, a mortgage-backed security bond. As the price goes up, yields or rates go down. There's an inverse relationship. So we had a good run here, great rates, and then rates kind of went bad. Now we're back on that, you know, an upstream, which is good. Again, up in this is the price. Up as this goes up, yields come down. So yesterday, the Federal Reserve announced a quarter cut in the federal funds rate. That kind of kicked up a mortgage or kicked up the mortgage-backed securities prices, dropping yields pretty good yesterday. Uh, why? Many times, you know, if you listen to the channel, you say, well, Dan, the you know the federal funds rate really doesn't determine the mortgage-backed securities market or, or mortgage rates. Well, you're right. But the verbiage that the Fed came in with says, basically in a nutshell, they're saying, we're going to monitor the economy and jump in when and if we're needed. Okay, so pay attention to that part there. Okay, so some of the stuff that they watch, let's go to the technicals. Here's what happened today. Some of the technicals that the Fed watches is they watch for inflation. So what happens is when the Fed comes in and they drop rates, what are they trying to do? They're trying to spur the economy. They're pumping more liquidity into the markets or into the economy, making money cheaper so people will spend, which is how it works. So they make money cheaper, people spend. What do they do? They buy stuff. To buy stuff, that means manufacturers got to make more stuff. So the whole economy starts to pick up a little, you know, pick up and starts to cook a little bit more. So, however, what happens though is because you make money cheaper, pushing more monies to certain products, there's only a certain, let's say there's 100 cars and there's five people that want to buy, 100 people that, 300 people that want to buy those cars. You, that the car price keeps going up until the point where people start backing out, backing out, backing out, and only 100 people can buy those 100 cars. Hopefully that makes sense. So there's an equilibrium there. So you, it pushes up the price. Okay, when you push up the price, what happens? Well, inflation happens. So the Fed, their inflation trigger that they watch is the PCE. They're looking to keep this or contain this under 2%. Okay. Well, we had more good news today. The number came in at 1.3, actually lower than they expected. That's great news because that means the Fed, what they're doing, if they need to continue to lower rates to spur the economy, they're still a far way away from their 2% trigger on inflation. Okay, that's one thing. The next thing is, as we noticed from last week and a couple other prior weeks, uh, manufacturing starting to slow because of the tariffs. The world economy is starting to get skittish. British is going through Brexit, which is causing chaos. 
chaos in the markets are bad for stocks, good for bonds. Okay, so with all that in play, now the job market, we're going to start watching that. Initial jobless claims, jobless claims. Okay, pay attention to that. It's not, you know, jobs, jobless. It was worse. 5,000 more people applied for unemployment, basically look at it that way, than the week before. Then the week before was also revised 1,000 worse. So we have an economy that's employment starting to kind of go south. Manufacturing is slowing, or slowing, sorry about the bad English. You have a Brexit deal causing chaos in the, in the economy. You have the tariff wars. You have the impeachment in, you know, stuff going on. You have some companies not hitting their earnings. All that's bad news. What happens? People pull out of stocks, buy bonds. So the big thing right now is basically, if you look at all this before we were watching and saying, you know, what happened in the stock market today? It was, it, it was because of Brexit or the Chinese China tariffs. Um, all you see now is treasury yields, um, sales misses, economic worries, Dow's down 150. You know, you see all this stuff, manufacturing weaky, weaker. That's all good. It's bad for the economy, but it's good for mortgages and mortgage rates. So let's see some technicals today. Um, if you follow this, again, these are the Fibonacci levels, the, the tops and the bottoms. Think of these as bumpers when you're playing pull or bowling. You kind of bounce around through here. And then we micromanage it down through to some moving averages, 25-day moving averages, 50 and 100-day moving averages. So we're, we're, we're in our technicals here, right here. But you notice that we hit this technical right here. It's a 25-day moving average, and we stopped yesterday. So these do play a point in, in this trading you know, scenario. Today, if you watched last night, I said we're probably going to go in this range because I didn't think the jobless claims were going to be that bad, but they were bad. We opened up right here um, at another level. Okay, so now the next peak here is going to be up here. I don't think we're going to see that. So I think we're going to start seeing a little stagnation right here because basically this is in, in a stock terms. Let's say you bought a stock uh, at 100 bucks and now it's trading at $125. You're probably going to pull some money off the table. Um, so that's, I think, what, what's happening right here. We had a too good of a run for the last two days. We're going to see some things kind of just start to, to taper off unless we get some more bad news and the employment numbers are coming out tomorrow so if job growth is really bad tomorrow you might see this even go more but me i wanted to stay cautious because the jobs report comes out before the market opens so let's say the job report comes out and it's good well you're probably going to see us trade back down to these technical levels i didn't want to take that chance um, if they come in bad I, we've already had a run. We might end up a little bit in here, but my guess is we're going to stay stagnant or drop a little bit tomorrow. So I locked in most of my clients uh, today on that. So um, if you locked in, if your mortgage advisor or mortgage uh, person locked you in, you know, at the beginning of the week or last week, call me. Don't pay a fee for them to get you a lower rate. You can call me and we can get you that lower, that lower rate for free at no cost. So again, I'm a mortgage advisor in the Chicagoland area. I'd love to help or at least answer some of your questions or at least go through a scenario that you might have that I might be able to answer or help you with. If I can be of any help, just give me a call at 844-775-LOAN and loan is 5626. Or you can email me at dfrio, which is F-R-I-O, at parksidelending.com. Probably the best way, if you want to learn more about me and get Google reviews and any other reviews that you want, just Google me. Uh, my name is Dan Frio, D-A-N-F-R-I-O. Uh, the Mortgage Update is most of my shows and most of my websites, so the Mortgage Update. So God bless. Get out there and watch those little kitties. Be careful out there if you got little ones. Um, and I hope to see you back tomorrow. But please leave any comments if you have them. God bless. Have a good night.